Good day, everyone. My name is Pastor Ketchup Chiridum, and I'm your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Today, we shall be looking at powerful steps to take to control your dreams, the things to do to be in control of your dreams. Praise the Lord. A lot of Christians don't have control in the dream. That is why when water spirits come, they can sleep with you in the dream. You can't resist them. You just find yourself allowing them to molest you in the dream. You, you find out that they give you food in the dream. You can't reject it. Even though you know that this is a demonic dream, you can't reject it. You find out that in the dream, they attack you. They beat you up. You are too weak in the dream. You have no control. You don't fight back in the dream. You don't resist the devil in the dream. Anything they do, they are always pursuing you. You are always running for your life. You are always shouting for help. They are always beating you up. They are always molesting you in the dream. They are always abusing you in the dream. I mean, you have absolute zero control over your dream life. This video is for you. By the time you are through watching this video and begin to use, follow the kingdom steps I'm going to be sharing with you this morning, you are going to see a new you in the realm of the spirit. You are going to see what a new you, a new you will show up in the realm of the spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I pray for you that by the time, so after this video, you will become a spiritual giant in the realm of the spirit. And no devil can penetrate your life through dreams in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So quickly, things to do to control your dreams. Number one, always pray in the Holy Ghost. Be highly prayerful, especially praying in tongues. Praying in tongues edifies your spirit. It charges your spirit. First Corinthians chapter 14, when you go home, read it. When you pray in unknown tongues, you are charging your spirit. In your prayer life, always pray in tongues. If you follow this channel very well, you find out that most of the prayers we are praying here, as I'm praying, I am praying in tongues. As I'm praying, I'm praying in tongues. Make sure you learn and you, you, you start to pray in the spirit. Listen, if you are not praying in the spirit, you cannot control the, the spirit realm. You cannot. So, Pastor, I don't know how to pray in tongues. Now, listen to me. Ask the Holy Ghost to fill you. Then open your mouth and start to speak. Ask the Holy Ghost to fill you with the to fill you with the spirit of prayer. Let the Holy Ghost fill you with his, with his power. Let the Holy Ghost empower you to speak in tongues. The moment you pray that prayer and you receive it, listen to me. The moment you pray that prayer in faith, open your mouth and begin to pray in tongues. Don't wait for any feeling. Don't wait for any special thing. Don't wait for any special vision. The money is the Holy Ghost. Fill me. Fill me with your power. Fill me with your grace. Fill me with your power. Fill me with your grace. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Rinko, shada, banotaya. Begin to pray in tongues. Anything that comes out of your mouth, begin to say it in faith. Anything that comes out of your mouth, begin to say it in faith. Listen to me. What you say is not the issue. What you say is nonsense to the, to the mind. What you say does not make sense to the mind. That is why it's called an unknown tongue. Nobody understands it. No man understands it. When you pray, your spirit prays. Your mind is unfruitful. Your mind cannot make sense of what your mouth is saying. But your spirit is... That now, what you are saying is being interpreted by the Holy Ghost to empower you spiritually. It is being interpreted by the Holy Spirit to empower you spiritually. So, pray in other tongues. Learn to pray it. Pray it all the time. As you are praying, every time you are praying, like you are watching our prayers and you are praying with us, make sure you pray both in your understanding and in the spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, one of the ways to charge yourself in the realm of the spirit is to pray in tongues. Listen to me, before you go to bed, speak in tongues for five minutes. Speak in tongues. After you have finished your prayers, pray in tongues for five minutes. After five minutes, pray in tongues. You can start with five minutes. Pray for five minutes and go to sleep. And you will see a new you. <laughs> you will see yourself do the things that you never believed that you could do in the dream. Hallelujah. That's number one. Number two, attack back immediately. Attack back immediately. If you are in the dream and they were chasing you and you got up, get up from your bed and say, you devil chasing me. I go back to that dream and I chase you in the name of Jesus. You demon chasing me. You demon that wants to, that comes to molest me in the dream. As I go back to sleep, I will attack you and I will destroy you. Attack back immediately. Don't be scared. Don't get up and start panting. No. Get up and address that spirit on the spot. 
you devil that is trying to that is molesting me or that is trying to attack me or that is trying to hurt me in the dream or that has even done something bad to me in the dream as i go back to sleep i will lay hold on you and i will tear you into pieces in the name of jesus you attack back immediately now when you go back to sleep you may not even dream that dream again but what you have said has registered in the realm of the spirit the next time they show up <laughs> you will see yourself in a new light Attack back immediately. Attack back immediately. Number three, dare the devil before you sleep. Now, you have to learn to dare the devil. If you, if you dream all the time of eating in the dream, maybe somebody's coming to give you food in the dream. Now, by the time before you sleep, you tell the devil, you say, you devil that comes to feed me in the dream, I dare you. If you show up tonight, you are dead. In the name of you dare the devil with holy anger. You demon that comes to make love to me in the night. I dare you in the name of Jesus. You show up tonight, I tear you to pieces. I tear you to pieces. I am ready for you. You, you show up tonight if you can. You show up tonight, you are dead. I am ready for you. If you are bold enough, show up tonight. I will tear you into pieces. Let to dare the devil before you sleep. Listen to me. When you dare the devil... <laughs> They don't near you because why? As you are daring the devil, the, the authority of heaven is backing you up. The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. When you dare the devil, the devil cannot near you. Let to dare the devil. Whatever dreams that you are experiencing, whether it's chasing you in the dream, backwardness, in the, you see you spirit of whatever it is that attacks me in the dream. I dare you in the name of Jesus. You show up tonight, you are dead. I will massacre you in the spirit. I will tear you into pieces. A lady from London was sharing her testimony with me. She said, every night she normally dreams of a woman that comes to beat her up. The woman comes to beat her up. The woman comes to beat her up in the dream. And that thing is affecting her marriage, affecting her children. A bad things are happening to her. In fact, she's overwhelmed. She doesn't know what to do. Every time in the dream. And this woman is huge. If you see this woman in the dream, physically huge. There was no way she could beat that woman. It was a strong man. And when she saw my ch our channel, and she began to listen to me and to pray with the same aggression and holy anger that we, you see in this channel. <laughs> the, she, according to her testimony, she said, after praying our prayers before she slept, that night, that woman showed up again. And began to threaten her. So you have started praying again. You have started praying this prayer. Who told you to go to that channel? Who told you to pray? The woman began to threaten her. As the woman wanted to attack her, she said she got up, held the woman, raised the woman up, and landed the woman on the floor. And began to beat the woman to stupor. I mean, she has never stood up to that woman ever in the dream. And the Lord exposed the woman for the first time. She saw that the woman was one of her aunties that is in Nigeria. One of her aunties in Nigeria. She, before, she does not even see the woman's face. It's just the woman come and de deal with her. But this time around, she roll her back, attack this woman, raise her up. This woman, I'm telling you, is not even, cannot even raise that kind of a woman up. She raised her up, slammed her on the floor, and was beating her to nonsense. From that day, that molestation stopped. She called me. She was so excited. And she was sharing her testimonies with me. Now listen to me. When you dare the devil, <laughs> they will not cross you. And even if they do, you will see yourself mesmerizing them in the realm of the spirit. That will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Number four, fear nothing. Fear not. Now listen to me. Anything you see in the dream cannot come to pass except you allow it. Don't be afraid of dreams. Dreams are... Listen, dreams cannot come to pass without your permission. There is no dream you see that can come to pass without your permission. Listen to me. Any dream you dream, bad dreams, never be afraid of it. Never, never laugh the devil. <laughs> laugh the devil. Never be afraid. Never be afraid. Never be afraid. The Bible says, fear not. Fear not. 365 times in the Bible. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Never be afraid of your dream. When you, when, listen to me, when you dream 
and you become afraid, you have empowered that dream to come to pass. Fear not. Fear not. Laugh at the devil. Laugh at the devil. Mesmerize the devil. Laugh at the devil. Are you hearing me? You, you are in the dream. You saw that you are shot and you die. When you get up, you say, you laugh. <laughs> Satan, I am unkillable and you know it. So in that dream, the reverse is the case. You are the one that will die. Whoever is projecting death for me, the reverse is the case. You know, dream is like a mirror image. So in the real world, it is the opposite that will happen. <laughs> and I say so. You will dare the devil. You will dare the devil. That is why if you see our, our, one of our videos, how to cancel bad dreams, I tell you, don't share your dream with faithless people. Don't go and call your mother in the, in the village and say, mommy, see the dream I did. You know, they will not tell you, hey, you have to be afraid. No, 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 no. You will dare talk. Fear not. And you address the devil. You say, Satan, you see, the reverse is the case. You are the one that will die that death in the name of Jesus. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Hallelujah. The number five, be bold. Be bold. Call the devil by name. The righteous, Proverbs 28 verse 1, they are as bold as a lion. Listen to me, you have to be bold to address the devil. You are having issues with sex in the dream. You get up and say, you, you marry powers. You have no power over me. I will tear you into pieces. Now, you have to be bold. Somebody say, but pastor, I did that the first night. They still came and they still slept with me. Do it again. The more you are doing it, your spirit is gathering stamina. Listen to me. Number one, as you are practicing this thing, I'm telling you, you are developing spiritual muscle. You are developing spiritual stamina. You pray in tongues all the time. You pray in tongues before you sleep. You are developing spiritual stamina. You have an dream encounter. You get up. You attack the devil immediately. You attack the devil immediately. You are developing spiritual what? Stamina. As you are daring the devil, you are developing spiritual stamina. As you are daring the devil, you are developing spiritual stamina. As you are rejecting the spirit of fear. Rejecting the spirit of fear. Rejecting the spirit of fear, you are building momentum in the realm of the spirit. And as you declare boldly, I can never be molested in the dream. I can never be fed with demonic food in the dream. Any evil caterer that comes to feed me, I tear you into pieces. Spirit of backwardness, you are too small to stop me. As you, make, as you begin to make those bold declarations, before you know it, it's going to be transcending to the realm of the spirit. Listen to me, I'm telling you, practical. I can never be molested in the dream. I can never be chased in the dream. Who, who, who is that? Maybe I go to sleep now. I see a witch chasing me. No way. It's not possible. I fear nothing in the realm of the spirit. In the realm of the spirit, I'm more dangerous than I am in the physical. So you can't penetrate my... You dare me, I tear you into pieces. You dare me what? I tear you into pieces. In the realm of the spirit, I am deadly. And these are the steps... To get to that realm where Satan can no longer manipulate your life. Praise the Lord. So I encourage you, watch this video over and over and over. And take advantage of the prayers we have in this channel. If you are not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And every of the prayers that is recommended to you, by you to watch them. Every of the videos, watch them. In this channel, we train people to be spiritual giants. Not, we are, it's not a channel that prays for people. It's a channel that teaches people how to pray. We teach you how to do warfare. So I encourage you to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, and you'll be glad you did. And as you follow these steps, I see you commanding your dream world in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you for watching. My name is Tilly Pastor Ike, which is your host at Everyday Friday Night Television. Remain blessed. Stay safe. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.